another quilting video. I'm Olivia and today I'm sharing a fabric bundle that I'm really excited to turn into a quilt. So the other day I was at Joanne's, the fabric shop, and they have this line of American state fabric. And I live in New York and I just thought this New York print was really cool. I like the colors, number one, kind of the most important thing to me. And I like the New York stuff that's on it, especially since um, I'm not planning to live in New York forever. So I thought this was a good thing to get. Um, I like the, it's also kind of watercolory. Um, the pictures on it, I think that's nice. The problem is it is so graphic, I suppose. So it was kind of hard for me to figure out what I should do with it. Another problem is some of the colors that are so prominent in this fabric, like this very bright royal blue. I didn't really want to use that too much. The pink is a very hot pink, which again, I didn't really want to use. So it's kind of tricky for me to work with, to be honest, but I'm very excited with where we ended up. So the first thing I added was this pink color. This is Sugar Plum Art Gallery Fabrics um, and I love it. I think it plays well with this ready pink color without being that same hot pink. Pleased with that. Next I wanted to bring in, there's a lot of brown here in the bottom of the statue, in the sand up here, um, the bird and this boat. So next I've added English Toffee. Art Gallery Fabrics. Then the next main colour that jumps out to me is the green. Lots of green everywhere. Um, but I wanted to tone it down a little bit from this very verdant green. So I've taken um, this little print from the Lilliput collection, um, which is a a kind of midpoint, I suppose, between all the green and the blue in here. And then we've also got Northern Waters, a dark um, toned down blue that I really like. At this point, I was very happy with this, but it is very deep and dark. So to just brighten everything up a little bit, I've added ethereal pink here and also periwinkle, this lovely blue. And they look a little bit out of place here, but if we just rearrange slightly, break up those dark colors, I think that looks great. My next problem is I have no idea what I'm going to do with this stack of fabric. It obviously need cuts that are big enough to include some of these pictures I want the fabric to kind of be an element of the quilt, not the quilt be just this fabric, if that makes any sense. I might end up just doing a simple square patchwork. I might end up doing an Irish chain. I want it to be simple, not too fussy. Um, so we'll see. I will let you guys know as soon as there is more to tell here. <laughs> if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them because I'm struggling with this. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.